everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the math with you about how much money I spent last year on makeup. Well, I'm not going to be doing the math. I already did the math. And uh, yeah, I can tell you it's it's quite a lot. I was n not expecting to have this amount of money or, you know, this grand total. Um, and I'm pretty sure this, it's, it's a little bit more because I'll be honest with you. I am just, um, I'm just adding here the price tag on the products i am not adding to this shipping or taxes or anything this is 100 percent just the price tag on the product so this this number is clear, clearly higher but uh yeah uh, um i'm not happy and actually just just by seeing this number i am right now happier and convinced that I 100% needed to do a low buy this year. So far, I think I've been doing good. I really like, you know, I've been watching or looking on trend mood what things are coming out. I'm, I'm honestly waiting on the Valentine's Day stuff to buy something. Remember, I am allowing myself to buy one eyeshadow palette a month. So I, I am just waiting to see what what it's out there, which one catches my eye. I'm kind of waiting on the Natasha Nona one. I know that she's coming with a face palette, kind of like the, the glam palette that she had, you know, that it comes. It's just the five eyeshadows plus a blush and a highlighter. I, I'm not happy that it has a blush and highlighter because those are part of my no buys, but I'm honestly just buying it. Like if I decide to purchase that one, it's going to be because of the eyeshadows, but I'm waiting to see how it looks like because if the eyeshadows are any repeats of the things that I have, then I'm not going to purchase it and I'll just purchase something else. But anyway, guys, I'm getting off topic over here we're here to talk about how much i spent last year and this is how it's gonna work i'm gonna be showing you the picture over here about the product that i that i purchased and the how much i paid so yeah but let me introduce myself first in case that this is your first time in my channel hello my name is carla and i am a makeup enthusiast who loves to create looks and have fun with the makeup that i already have I occasionally, in this year even more, occasionally buy new products and I review them for you guys, but I am mostly interested in my pro or focused on Project Pan and especially this year using the things that I already have because, you know, in this video you'll see how much I spent and uh, yeah, we need to get this under control. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going, this year it's, it's a low buy year for me. So anyway. If that is something that you're interested in, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification button so you get notified of every time that I post a video. Anyway guys, let's start first with the very first few things that I purchased last year and at this time around January. I repurchased my Modern Renaissance because the other one was just, you know, not good anymore. So I repurchased that one and I, you know, the cost of that one was $45. I also purchased the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Here it is that it cost me um, $16 and I ended up just decluttering that one be or passing it along because the, the shade was just completely off. I did not like how it looked on me anyway. And I also bought uh, two NYX eyeliners. This one's right here in the shade brown and the, the other one was like a purplish shade. And I don't know how much I paid for them. I want to say like around twelve fifty each. I know that I can check it on the page, but I have here my grand total for this purchase because it was all in one trip. So I'm, so I'm estimating it was like twelve fifty each just so it gives me the grand total of the number that I have here. Um, and then I also purchased the BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette Trendy in Tokyo. Uh, that was $17. Then, <laughs> and honestly, the only reason why I purchased it, I have never tried BH Cosmetics. I have it that eyeshadow palette here and it's new to me. Like, I have not tried it. I have not tried BH Cosmetics, but I heard whenever I purchased this one, it was because I knew that they were um filing for bankruptcy i don't remember which chapter 13 or 11 i think it was 11 i don't know the point is makeup revolution end up buying them and i don't know i just i guess i got fomo about not trying you know the the great formula that everybody talks about bh cosmetics eyeshadows but here it is sitting in my collection brand new still so i, I can't can talk about it yet and that's why i purchased that one then valentine's day came and natasha and i came with her mini crush i should have palette so of course i purchased that one and that one cost me 27 dollars 
And then I, I have to kind of hear what I purchased from just Sephora all together last year. Then I also purchased my Kosas concealer. That one was $28. Then with the... What was that with the Kosas concealer? I really can't remember. No, I think that was a different trick. Anyway, I purchased the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation. And that one, oh, unfortunately, I bought it full price and it was $68. I should have waited for a sale or something, but I just... You know, I just wanted it now. The point is, I, I purchased it $68. Then also at Sephora, I purchased the mini gold eyeshadow palette from Natasha Nona because I wanted to use that one for my engagement photo shoot. And in the end, I did not, <laughs> I didn't use that one, but I still am happy that I have it because it's really pretty and I've used it a couple of times. I paid $27 for that one. Then... It came the mini bronze, which is so far my most watched video on YouTube. And the reason why that is, is because I was actually the first person to came out with a review for that eyeshadow palette because I got it before it was even launched. How did that happen? I, you know, that sometimes, you know, Sephora messes up and they put out their palettes sooner and all of that stuff. That was not the case with this. Actually, I just, whenever I got the mini bronzes because I went to find the mini gold and the website said that they had it, but it wasn't on the shelf. So I asked one of the uh, ladies over there and she was like, oh, let me look it up for you. So she opened the drawer underneath. She grabbed three. Between those three, there was the mini gold and there was mini bronze. And I was like, this is the one that I want. But I was like, oh my God, you have this one? Like, ah, uh, I, can I take it? It's not out yet. And she was like, well, we have it here if you want it. And I was like, yes, please. Thank you. So as soon as I got it, I came back home and I made the review for that. But anyway, I got mini bronze, like I said, $27. And also later on, a year later, I decided to get the uh, midi retro palette because I was just not into it, you know, after seeing how the um, mini retro was, I was expecting something similar, but it wasn't. Anyway, I got the retro palette way later on. Retro palette was $69. Then I purchased the <laughs> mini Sendo from Natasha Nona, $27. I purchased the ABH Rose Metals eyeshadow palette. That one was $55. And let me tell you, I love that eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. Then I also purchased the My Dream palette from Natasha Nona. I thought I wasn't going to buy it, but then I watched so many videos, so many reviews. Everybody was raving about it. Everyone loved it. And I finally, you know, went and saw it in person. And it was prettier than I thought. So I, I bit the bullet and I purchased it. So yeah, $69 for My Dream palette. Then I went and got the Retro Glam whenever it came out. For that one, I paid only $36 because I had a gift card. So I didn't pay full price for that. I, like I said, I only paid $36, which was good because so far that uh, I don't like that eyeshadow palette so much. Then we get into Glam Light and Scooby-Doo. I purchased the two eyeshadow palettes, which were $39 altogether, plus tax and all that stuff. But like I said, I'm only putting the price tag. So I, I bought those two, the, the Glam Light um, eyeshadow palettes. It was $39 for both of them. I bought from Shroud Cosmetics the Halloween eyeshadow palette. That one was $38. And then I also purchased, again, from Shroud Cosmetics, the It's Freaking Bats palette. And with that one, I got a discount because it was my first purchase. So I ended up paying $31.5. Next. <laughs> Next, I also purchased the Metropolis palette from Natasha Nona. I actually purchased this one from her website and I got, I got a discount because it was Labor Day. So instead of the $129, I ended up paying just $110 for this eyeshadow palette. I had recorded a video in the past about my eyeshadow palette still still on my wish list. And I kind of pretty much purchased most of the eyeshadow palettes on my wish list, guys. Almost all of them. Not all of them. But um, this one was one of my wish lists. It was Circle Loco from Natasha Nona. Here it is. And I paid $129 for that eyeshadow palette. I also purchased the Pastel palette. And with this one, I also got a discount. I don't remember why or how, but I only paid $59 for this eyeshadow palette. It's not a whole lot, but you know, I, I did get a little bit of a discount. Then I also got the 
another eyeshadow palette that I really, really wanted from her, and it was the Trio Chrome from Natasha Nona. <sighs> and it's a full size palette, so I paid $129 for that eyeshadow palette. Earlier in the year, Pat McGrath relaunched or came back again. Uh, came back again, that sounds weird. And the point is, she brought back her Celestial Divinity palette, which was her 2020 holiday eyeshadow palette collection. So I purchased it and I paid $84 for it. <laughs> um, then I purchased also from Menagerie Cosmetics the Sugar High Artistry, Artistry Palette. I paid $45 for that one. Mm, then I bought the Hella Palette from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nick Fist. Paid $44 for that one. Then I, I got an, an NYX white eyeliner. Here it is. It was $10. I'm adding those two. Uh, then, <laughs> I think in May or June, I don't remember, I bought the Nikia Joy Powder in Primer, which I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like those. And I paid for both of them $67. It was like a combo or whatever. A bundle, that's the word. Then, also, in February, they always get me. They always get me with the um, Valentine's Day collections. Anyway. Colourpop launched like six different blushes in an eyeshadow palette. I did not buy the eyeshadow palette. I wasn't very... I was into it, but I wasn't. I don't know how to describe The point is I didn't purchase it. But I did purchase all of the blushes, which were six, and I paid a total of 55, 59, I'm sorry, $59 for those blushes. Um, they came in a bundle also. Then later on in the year, I went to TJ Maxx and I found the ABH Subculture Palette. And that one was $25, which was good, you know, compared to how much I would have spent if I had purchased it in, like, full press or whatever. Then I bought the Becca highlighter. I went to the store. It was, um, I, I don't know, it wasn't an outlet. And, it, you know, it was like an outlet store with the, where they have a bunch of brand makeup on, on a discounted price. I don't know if this, it's, it's because they have, like, overstock or how it works. I really don't know. But they have Tom Ford, they have Estelle Otter, Too Faced, um, who else they had? They, I mean, obviously they had some of the Becca stuff still. So I bought a full-size highlighter and this one cost me only $16. Um, then I saw that Huda Beauty had had for the longest time her Mercury Retrograde palette on sale for 50% discount and I knew. I knew that she was going to get rid of it, so I and I, I just kept eyeing it, eyeing it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to purchase it before it's gone because I noticed that Sephora just did not restock it anymore. And I was like, mm, it's time to buy it. So I purchased that one. That one was $33.50. Then back in May, was it May? No, it was probably April, somewhere around that. Um, I went to a like lipstick store where you create your own lipstick and this was uh, for one of my friends kind of like uh, birthday so I pay and just to make that lipstick guys I mean it's the whole experience of you going mixing the colors and trying it on and you know all of that it was but it was $50 <laughs> so I paid $50 for one lipstick uh, later in December I purchased the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 and Mothership 8, which are the bronze and the um, Divine Rose 2 for both of them because I purchased them in a bundle and that bundle also came with a discount whenever she was running her 40% discount or 30% discount, I don't remember anymore. So I only paid for, for both, both eyeshadow palettes, $161. And you guys know that each one of them costs $130. So that was a really great deal. Could not let that go. Purchase those two, which are back here, right there. And my last purchase was an NYX Red Liquid Eyeliner. Here it is, which cost me $10. And yes, guys, um, all of this comes to a... And I don't, th I don't know, I don't think... I might be forgetting a product or two. I really can't remember. Um, I'm not including here 
the two times that I received a boxy, not a boxy charm, I'm sorry, an ipsy charm, ipsy bag. I'm sorry, the times that I forgot to, to skip or to cancel or whatever. I did not include those. I might be forgetting a few things. I know that I also bought an eyeshadow primer. So, you know, you may want to, and I should have probably added that over there, but I didn't. Like I said, there's probably a few products here and there that I'm forgetting. Nothing big though. It's more like eyeshadow primer and little things like that. So anyway, but if you have not done the math, I, I got it here for you. Finally adding everything up. Like I said, again, no taxes included, no shipping included for the things that I had to pay for shipping, just the price tag on the product. It came to a grand total of... <laughs> Um, one thousand and six hundred and seventy six dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars. That's a lot. I was expecting somewhere around twelve hundred. I don't know, just one thousand. But I was not expecting over fifteen hundred dollars. That's that's insane. So, like I said, I'm actually very happy that this year I am on a low buy journey because it's needed and i hope i really really hope that i can i, I stick to that I, and as you can see the biggest thing that i bought here was eyeshadows eyeshadows are my absolute like you know i i, I don't know i just really really like them i it's yeah I, I it's hard for me to resist an eyeshadow palette although i'm not gonna lie lately i feel like i haven't seen anything pretty anything really that exciting i feel like i've seen it all i feel like i have it all um I, I know i don't but it's it's been very hard for me to get get excited for a new eyeshadow palette lately so i'm really curious about what color pop and all of the brands that i like are gonna come out for valentine's day uh because yeah i just I, I i don't know i I think that this year is going to be a good year whenever it comes to my low buy. But yeah, guys, 100, I mean, $1,676. That's, that's a lot of money on makeup. Don't do it, guys. Don't. Also, I didn't say anything, but if you are interested in this makeup, I'm going to leave everything in the description, list in the description box down below. This is all of that I'm using. It's part of my project pan. Yes, my nails are still there. I know I got to take them off. I will. I promise. It's, it's just been, I just came back to work. This is my first, I mean, I, I did not just came back to work i the kids just came back to school so it was like my first week with kids and it was so 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 exhausting <laughs> so yes um i'll do this after this video although he, my husband said that he was gonna pay for them but no no i'll do it myself i can do it myself but about this this look like if you're interested in this look like i said everything is gonna be linked in the description box down below it's all products that i have in my project pan no affiliated links i don't have any affiliated links yet but whenever I do, I will let you know, of course, because that's the right thing to do. Anyway, and um, I'm going to post also a picture of me with this look on Instagram and with the eyeshadow palette that I used and the exactly the shades that I use to to create this look. But anyway, guys, that's that's it for today. That's I don't know why I'm talking about my makeup. This was not about this. This was about how much I spent this year or not this year, last year. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm honestly a little bit ashamed of how much i spent oh i mean i mean i didn't ask anybody for money that was my own money so and i paid everything that i needed to pay so like i said that is it too much talk too much i, I feel like i'm just rambling here and just talking to myself trying to convince myself that it, hey it's fine you're gonna do better next year this year i will that's it <laughs> anyway guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any single one of my videos. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.